Everything happens if you keep growing, you keep thinking. Now look it. The moment your belief matches with any state, you fuse with it. This union results in the, in the activation and projection of its plots, plans, conditions, and circumstances. See, when you believe something, everything happens. When you believe an idea, you fuse with that idea. Instantly, everything happens. This new state of conscious awareness becomes your home from which you view the world. Your conditions and circumstances, you're creating them. The plots and plans that come about, they all create, they, they originated with your original idea. And this is your new awareness, this is your home. It's your workshop. If you're observant, you're going, to, you're going to see in your outer world is going to be shaping itself upon the model of your imagination. Now stay with me for a moment. This is huge. There you are there. Let's put your mind in two parts. I suggested you think. Build an idea in your conscious mind. Subject it. Impress it upon your subconscious. You see, when you build a beautiful idea and put it in your subconscious mind, your whole world changes. So you take and build the goal and you let yourself get emotionally involved in that goal. Do you know the second you do that, your whole being moves into a different vibration. Remember we said everything was connected? Well, the frequency that you moved on to, it started to attract from all over the world whatever you needed. You'll attract it to you. Because you're working by law. You're working with energy. You're working with pure and adulterated spirit. It operates one way. So when we talk about the law of attraction and vibration, there you go. Think whatever you want. Don't think from the outside in. Think from the inside out. Get a big goal. Get a great big goal. Get emotionally involved and it doesn't matter what you've got. It's what you think. And that controls the vibration you're in. And that vibration will set up an attraction. So the guy said, pray and move your feet. Get going. Thanks, Scott. Now, this is so important that we understand it. Let's understand that everything's already here. You can study this particular law for a long time. We're probably going to be working on it for a while. But if you let that graphic illustration represent you, as long as you've got a goal and you're emotionally involved, you don't have to know how to get there. You don't have to have any idea how to get there. You just have to fall in love with the goal. Now, what do we mean by falling in love? On a conscious level, you have an idea. You got the same idea on the subconscious level, and you're on that frequency physically. Love is the connection where all three parts of your personality are in sync. And if you fall in love with your idea, you're going to attract everything you require. There's no limit. Is it money you need? You'll attract it. You'll attract it in abundance. If it's people you need, you'll attract them. When I took my pen and said, I'm going to build a company that operates all over the world, I didn't have the foggiest idea how I was going to do it. I was the company. I was sitting in a little den in a house on Maplewood Lane in Glenview, Illinois. I had no idea how I was going to do it. I didn't have the money. I had no people. I was it. Today, 
We do have the money. We've attracted people from all over the place. And some of the key people in our company, some of the very key people in our company weren't even born when I made that idea in my mind. They were not even here. Some of them were just little kids. But they're here today and they are key people helping us reach this goal. Don't worry about where the good's going to come from. You're surrounded by. You're in a field of good. You'll attract it. You may already know about Bob Proctor's Rags to Riches story. This was one guy going nowhere until he made one decision that teleported his life. The change was so enormous, so light speed whipped saw crazy, that he's devoted his entire life to teaching millions of people how to do the same. For 60 years, Bob Proctor has been dreaming up gigantic goals that initially, even to him, looked unattainable in a galaxy far, far away. But he always found a way to navigate to those points of twinkling light, casting the darkness out of his life. How has he always found his way? I don't mean his paradigm shifting in a general sense taught from the front of the room. I mean, how did he find his way? Conquering old habits, distancing from his old life, moments of frustration, moments of new direction, goal achieving, exaltation, and what he did next, practice steps, missteps, and jangled senses, questioning, analyzing, changing course, lousy times, failure times, and I can't even go on any more times. Because even a Jedi Master can have a bad day. Haven't you wondered how Bob became Bob? Just imagine what his personal lessons can do for the you you're becoming. Introducing the first ever master class with Bob Proctor. Study personally with Bob from his book, You Were Born Rich. Chat with him, ask the burning questions, clear away the confusions, conquer the bad days, think like the master, and go, go, go. Your light speed is just one decision away. I hope you enjoyed this video. We put a lot of good information up here and it causes everything in your life to get better. If you'd like us to notify you every time we put a new video up, hit subscribe and then turn on notifications. Check out all our videos and we will notify you when we put a new one up.